What's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Um, on this segment, I like to talk about BJ Penn, a specific topic, uh, BJ Penn being arrested again for DUI. I'm sure many of you have read those headlines by now. This is not going to be a negative video. Um, I'm not going to bash BJ Penn. We've all done stupid things. We've all been on like some lows. I just want to kind of rant about his career, um, how I feel about him as a fighter and, um, you know, the current situation with him. All right. So let's um, cut to the chase. So, yeah, BJ Penn um, arrested one more time, DUI. Before that, um, he was in that street fight, that bar street fight with that drunk dude. Pretty embarrassing, pretty crazy for a former um, multi UFC champ to be involved in something like that. It's honestly just sad. It's uh, beneath BJ, but this is what happens when, and I'm not bashing him, this is what happens when, you know, you have maybe potential CTE issues going on, alcohol, um, maybe drug abuse, who knows. Now, I'm not saying that BJ Penn is on drugs or using drugs or he's an alcoholic, but, um, you know, he's been arrested a few times, if I'm not mistaken, on DUI. So the facts are there. Something's going on. As far as CTE, who knows? Uh, Penn's been known to fight above his weight class. We've definitely seen him take abuse and some shots. I can name one fight. You know, and um, this guy's not particularly like a super hard puncher, but he still punches hard. Um, his fight against Nick Diaz, that was pretty painful to watch. It was really painful to see BJ Penn get beat up like that. But that's Penn, you know, through and through warrior, uh, fighting above his weight class, you know, just scrap. That's why he's a legend. That's why we love him. But it also gets you in trouble. I find it really sad that uh, Penn's in trouble again. Uh, similar to like Mayhem Miller. I honestly think these guys need help. They need some kind of uh, intervention. I don't know whose responsibility that is. Probably the responsibility of uh, their closest friends and family. It's not necessarily on Dana White, you know, in Penn's case, but it would be cool if he steps in and tries to help him. Who knows? He probably has. But yeah, you know, when, when somebody's spiraling, friends and family could... Um, put a bunch of effort to get them on the right track and it could be to no avail because a grown man's going to do what a grown man's going to do let alone a famous you know highly beloved fighter that's a legend is he really going to listen to anybody so yeah guys it sucks i saw the video i don't know the exact details i just hope that you know pen cleans up and um he gets the help that he needs and and you know he uh, walks on a, a better path going forward. It's going to be good for him. It's going to be good for his family, for his fans. One other thing I want to touch on, um, I definitely don't want to see him fight anymore. We all know that BJ Penn is well past his prime and um, it will be a crime. It will be a crime if they book him with somebody else. To me, it doesn't take away from his legacy or the things he's done because clearly, you know, a lot of those fights he dropped, uh, he was out of his prime. But to new fans of the sport, if you haven't seen Penn compete back in the day, you may think he's a bum or a tomato can. And he's not. He's a through and through legend. You know, he's arguably in the eyes of many. I mean, there there've been some high profile great fighters that have said this. I mean, they consider BJ Penn the GOAT. There's an argument. There's an argument for that. He's definitely one of the greats. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section of this whole situation with BJ Penn. Um, do you feel bad for him? Do you hope he gets help? What do you feel like needs to be done? Do you think it's the responsibility of like his closest friends and family? But like I said, it's kind of tough, man. I mean, when a grown man wants to do something, they're just going to do what they're going to do. That's going to wrap up this short rant video, guys. Um, once again, hope BJ cleans up. If this is your first time at the channel and you enjoy this segment, consider hitting that sub button, like and share. It helps the channel grow. Appreciate it, my friends. And until the next one, you all take care.